Ella cast up flat and look at arm coming away. The gay clean lach at numbers, gay clean lach gillies, loose at clean clach a um, uh, don't make dogs bite. Uh, and when I was younger, for my granny, most of the things I know is for my granny. I always speak of speak about her. Um, uh, So the story goes is that this little boy was walking through this trail and he bumps into this man and the man said, asked him what he was doing. So the little boy, oh, I'm just walking, just, just taking a little stroll. And the man said, have you eaten? He said, no, I haven't eaten yet. So the man said, well, come to my house. So I'll, I'll give you some lunch. So the little boy, um, little boy goes with this man to his house and when the guy got when the little boy got into that man's house he looks up on the wall and all he sees is all this dog fur hanging on the wall so he's like you know he's looking up and he's kind of like thinking like what would he be doing with all this fur so the man says come on come and eat lunch is ready the little boy is weirded right out and he's like okay you know so he sits down and now he's gonna get his food and the man um, says you know that fur up there every day I grab I grab one of the fur and I put it over my head and then I go put it on my body and then I transform into a dog and the little boy was like was still a little bit confused and he goes, you know, when you and your friends, you guys go to hang out and you guys are all um, together at the park and you guys make us fight, we get torn right here. And sometimes I lose one of my teeth or one of my claws and um, we get really, really hurt and we get really hurt feelings because those are our friends. But you guys are making us fight. So the little boy was feeling a little bit sad about what he heard and he goes and when we come home we take the fur off and we transform back into human again and um, I have kids and they see me hurt so the little boy was feeling really sad and he, he go, that man tells him no eat your food you must make a promise to me though you cannot tell anybody that you see me and you can t not tell anybody what I just told you. This has to be a secret between me and you. So the little boy makes this promise that he didn't hear this information from the, the dog man, right? So anyway, he goes, um, he goes home, he leaves there. Now he's just thinking about what he had learned from this dog man. So he goes home and his mom has um, food ready for him when he gets home. And his mom's like, oh, I made you, I made you some food. And, um, and he goes, oh no, thanks mom, I'm not hungry. So the lady said, but you've been out all day. You know, you have to be hungry. So she just like kept asking him, asking him. Finally, he's like, mom, I ate already. Oh, where did you eat? Oh, I ate at, um, and then he just spills the beans and tells her exactly um, what happened. He spilt, you know, they broke the promise with the dog man and told her everything. So anyway, um, later on, the little boy got sick. He started to feel really sick. He kind of got gaunt-like, you know, his face like sunk in. He got really skeletal. They tried to bring doctors, you know, try to bring good medicine people in to kind of try and help this little boy. And what happened was he just got so, so sick that the little boy ended up passing away. Nothing they did could help this little boy. He ended up getting very sickly. But which brings me to a story, and I think I'm running out of time on my timer here. Um, we have a bunch of rules. I'm First Nation. I'm Kwakwakiwok. I come from the Namgais, Kwakwakiwok, Kwakwakiwok, and Hlawitskis. But it's all Kwakwakiwok, and most likely all First Nation people believe this, is that 
you know, um, we have to be careful with how we're treating animals and we only hunt things that we're actually going to eat. Can't, it's not for fun. Another thing is um, we don't hunt things with paws. We only hunt things like with hoops. Um, another thing I learned was that if you're fishing, you're going to um, put your fish, the bones back and fish bones and guts um, back into the water so we can have more fish the next season um, and more fish will come back to us. The same thing is if you are hunting, you take the bones and you go bury it in the woods. So these are our teachings. Um, a granny told me a story about a man who intentionally um, killed, for fun, killed um, a seal and his wife was pregnant and actually their baby came out looking like a seal. So anyway, you have to be very careful with how we are treating Mother Nature and how we are actually, um, you know, just, just treating... <laughs> with how you're oh my cousin just did her squats how you're treating animals so we always show love kindness and everything to all living things that includes plants animals each other so